What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. We finally have some new stuff to talk about today, and I was so excited after testing out these new mods that I had, I had to make a video. I know they don't, they're not coming out on weekends anymore, but here we are with a video on the weekend, and we've got some good stuff for you today. Well, you know what, maybe I'm getting too excited about it. We got two new mods, which are going to be the first in a long line of hopefully buffing up guns like primaries and secondaries to be on the level of melee. Hopefully not nerfing melee so much that it becomes not good comparatively. So we've got these two mods, which will... <laughs> they're actually focused on impact damage. So before we get into it, though, make sure you, you are hitting that like button and commenting down below if you want to let me know how you feel about these mods. And for live streams, the link is on the screen right now. All right, so these mods are called Hemorrhage, which is going to be for pistols, and... Internal bleeding, which is for rifles. It does not work on shotguns. So these mods basically have the same exact effect, but they are for different types of guns. So let's go over the way the internal bleeding mod works. Impact status effects have a 35% chance to apply a slash status effect to the enemy. And that chance is multiplied by 2 when the fire rate of the gun is below 2.5. So that is basically meaning it is a hunter munitions proc. Uh, when an impact status effect is created. So unlike Hunter Munitions, if you don't know what Hunter Munitions is, let's quickly show that right here. Um, Hunter Munitions goes from crit, uh, critical attacks, it would be 30% chance, and does not get multiplied by anything. Um, the base proc chance of these mods is 35, and then when you have a slow firing gun, it's two, uh, multiplied uh, by 2. So it becomes 70% chance to proc. So if you have something with a forced impact proc, like, let's just cut the crap here, the Kuva Chakur, it is going to do ridiculous, and this will be better than Hunter Munitions on specific, very specific weapons, like this one. Because whenever you hit an enemy with this, uh, well, actually, when you ever hit them with an explosion or the bullet of the Kuva Checker, it does a forced impact proc, which will make it so it's better than Hunter Munitions here, since it will proc a lot more often. Um, now, let's just quickly show it here. I have the internal bleeding mod. This mod is 15 points at max capacity, so it's going to take a lot of formula to fit this thing on here. Um, but let's just quickly show how it works on these 180 EXO Goose Strike officers with no outside buffs. All right, so give them one doink and they should be gone. 170,000 slash proc. And it is very reliable as this will apply to multi-shot bullets. So for this, for the Kuva Checker and for the Quellor, which are two like hard hitting, now these, the thing is, these are slow weapons. As you can see right here, even if we shoot the ground, it is a re relatively good chance to proc the slash uh, procs as well. So like this thing has no slash innately. That is all from the forced impact proc of this weapon. If you go for headshots, of course, it's to be ridiculously high damage. All right, and then we're going to be showing the Quellor as well. Now, like I said, because it's a slow fire rate, 1.17 fire rate with this build uh, with this build on here, it is actually going to be getting that double chance for 70% chance for bleed procs. Uh, unfortunately, they just didn't buff impact in general to be good, but this is what we're what, this is what they're giving us. This is what we're gonna have to deal with. Um, it's I actually find it absolutely hilarious that we have this mod now, <laughs> in addition to shattering impact, making uh, impact damage do something entirely different than it did before. Like, it, they just they don't want to buff it. They just want to make they want to put band aid mod. So this is a band aid mod right here. Now here we are with the fire rate of 1.9 on the Quellor Alt Fire. This thing is a AOE. Hunter Munitions Monster. I took off Hunter Munitions for this mod, guys. That should show you how powerful this is. Now, it's going to be a similar situation. If you have a Riven, of course, this makes it even better. As we do have a Riven here. So that is going to be 30,000 from one bullet. And the other ones, it was about, like, you know, 100-something. That guy's just dead. Um, so, yeah, very good stuff here. Now, you're going to be basically looking for weapons with forced impact procs on here. We did do a, a good amount of look in here. Um... Lots of bows seem to have forced impact procs. Now keep in mind, a forced stagger is not the same as a forced impact proc. So it is not exactly the same situation there. Um, we tried out the Nagantaka that has forced impact procs. Didn't feel very good, although I don't have a Nagantaka Riven. Um, we tried out, you know, like the Volcar Wraith. The Volcar Wraith has very high status chance and is impact focused. But it, it, with all this elemental damage on here for a viral build, it did not seem like it was procking the uh, impact very often although this could be good for the volcar wraith um you know it if you want to try it i like the volcar wraith a lot i wish it was really really good with this but i'm not going to pretend that it it did a bunch of impact procs here as you can see it's staggering her but i'm not seeing any impact really so yeah it's unfortunate this is also a bane of the grinier ribbon so if this thing did proc uh the 
uh, internal bleeding mod, it would be ridiculous, but I honestly feel like you might be better off with Hunter Munitions. There, we finally got one, and there it was. 70% chance, and it didn't go off, guys, so... It is just like Hunter Munitions, where it is RNG if you get your crazy damage or not, with the Slash procs. Um, but it is more consistent than Hunter Munitions on very specific weapons. So that's enough for the primary one. Like I said, the two go-to weapons for this are going to be the, um... The checker, which I think the checker is honestly this, it, it feels so good on the checker right now, guys. Like, definitely try it out. Um, also, the Quellor. The Fulman also does forced impact procs, but I did not really enjoy it on the Fulman, to be honest. Also, the Fulman does not have a headshot multiplier on the primary shot, which is the one that has the forced impacts. So, that's the kind of weapons you're looking for here. Um, unfortunately, I thought, I thought for a, re a second that the, um, the whatever it's called, the. Quant the Opticore Vandal had a forced impact proc, but it's actually a forced stagger, which is different than a forced impact proc. So, you know, relatively okay there, about 20,000 with a near god roll ribbon. Um, now, let's just quickly show it on a weapon that's not really, like, not forced impact procs. Let's show it on, like, the Super Vandal. I believe that has high impact damage. It's actually high puncture damage. Okay, so what I'm trying to say, though, guys, is it is not very good on things like. Yeah, actually, no, this one might be pretty good. This is an impact-focused weapon right here, the Kuva Cortec. I believe we already have the build on here. Um, yeah, we have Hunter Munitions and Internal Bleeding, so let's try it with both of them on here, just for funsies. Let's see how that goes. And it's a Crit Chance and Toxin Ribbon. All right, summoning in the Exo Goose Dragon Officer. Of course, you could put a Bane mod on here for additional slash damage, but I'm just showing you how it works right now. So, no um, impact procs there, but the Hunter Munitions is pretty nice there. That is just Hunter Munitions right there. So we could have put a, technically a better mod in that last slot, as uh, we haven't gotten a single impact proc to go off here. There's an impact proc right there, and they will bleed out in probably one shot from that. So, pretty good, pretty good. With all this multi-shot on here, you're going to be having some pretty good consistency. Now the cat crit buff goes off, and that's when Hunter Munitions will definitely pull ahead. So it is a very specific mod, which honestly, guys, I think it is a bad mod for 99% of weapons. But on the Koopa Checker specifically, and the uh, Quellor as well, it is better than Hunter Munitions. Like, strip. It is better than Hunter Munitions as far as consistency is, is concerned. Um, and you will basically one-doink everything if you have a good Checker ribbon. So if you want to get one, I highly doubt they will nerf this. I really do. It is only good on, like, one or two weapons. Uh, by the way, the place you get this mod from is the Corpus Railjack uh, secondary objective. So there's like an ice, an ice base. There's a like a uh, Orican shield tower, and then there's also going to be a um, some other thing. But basically, do the secondary objective. It has a chance to drop. Now let's use a impact Kuva Nucor here. Now this is actually opening another avenue of potentially new meta stuff here with the Kuva Nucor impact version. A lot of people usually are using the Koopa Nucor to proc condition overload, kill a bunch of enemies, etc., etc. We're going to be doing it a new method here, where we're using the new Hemorrhage mod. So when an impact proc goes off, it's a 35% chance to apply Slash. So, let's take a look at what we got here. We got, we've got Impact, Heat, Radiation, Viral, and then sl you can add Slash on there as well. It's a chance to proc, so it's not reliable. And keep on, this is taking a mod slot that we do not want to waste. In this mod slot before, I had Fire Rate. It does not feel good to remove that fire rate, but I'm just showing you what this potentially could do. And we also have Saxon Spittle. When the enemy dies, they will explode in impact damage and also uh, blast damage as well. So that's an additional proc right there. Lots of procs, guys. Lots and lots of procs. Um, of course, if you took didn't want to run Saxon Spittle, you could run fire rate in that last slot. Um, and it is honestly up to you. Um, remember that multi-shot is also very good on beam weapons for status chance nowadays. All right, so most, nearly most procs possible. Um... And it's honestly going to be a uh, toss-up if you want to use the Magnetic or the Impact. I want to show you how the Impact one works, as far as Condition Overload is concerned. Alright, so let's, let's unpause their AI. Just put Invincibility on for, funds, for some fun sakes. Alright, I believe we have the Cat buff right now, so... As you can see right there, that is how many procs you're going to be getting with this. And they're basically done so with that many procs and then with Condition Overload, in, in effect. So, that is... I think you can actually get like two bars of procs just from one new core. So, very good stuff there. Um, now, it's also going to do a stun on the enemies. One of the reasons that I, the Magnetic Nucor is not, like, it, it's really good, but it's not, like, perfect, is that the Magnetic Stats effect doesn't really do anything. It's good against shields, but how often are you fighting against shields? Once you go over some of the changes in the Corpus Red like update, maybe you'll be thinking, I will be running some more Corpus missions. But, um, yeah, usually... The magnetic effect is doing nothing, but here we are with the impact effect. The impact effect will stun the enemies. Now keep in mind, you are also going to be running heat on this build as well. So they'll be getting stunned from impact and stunned from heat. So it is a little bit of redundancy, 
but you know it might be interesting to you i'm not gonna go ahead and say this is the new meta of of all meta-ness it is good though it is definitely good as you can see she is she can't even move this is the enemy not able to attack you at all so very good stuff there of course if you want to go a dps build you could um but that's not <laughs> the enemies just are useless now they are completely useless and magnetic would not be doing that so that's actually kind of cool like complete stun lock on the enemy and just one shot them 71,000 slash proc and yeah she is cut in half all right let's get some gameplay in here of the kuva checker in a steel path disruption because you know this is this is in the simulacrum the the steel path is tankier so we're gonna be using the exact same build we showed in the video now keep in mind i do have a ribbon mod on here if you don't have a ribbon mod i'd suggest getting one first off but if you do if you don't want to get one you can put a bane mod in that slot you can put prime firestorm in that slot uh, Prime Firestorm will make the AoE of the explosion bigger. Not too much bigger, but it does technically work. Um, and yeah, we're showing the exact same builds, guys. We're going to do a Steel Path uh, alert. Because apparently, um, you know, people still consider that relevant. So I'm going to show you how that goes. Um, it, and it can kill a Demolist. You can kill a Demolist with a gun on the Steel Path. Does that sound normal to you? Well, it is not normal, but we'll still show it. And here's a Sindo Prime. A video on the Sindo Prime will be coming out relatively soon. I actually do like the Sindo Prime a lot. It's mostly because it's just a giant axe, to be honest. So, yeah. So, we did do a good amount of thinking on stream today about what weapon would be the best with these mods. Oh, you know, we'll actually show the Catch Moon uh, secondary as well. The Catch Moon secondary is probably the best secondary with Hemorrhage besides like, maybe the Kuva Nucor. For DPS purposes, the Catch Moon secondary is better, guys. We're going to be using the Catch Moon secondary um, with max damage. It's going to be Catch Moon, Kill Stream, Haymaker. And we'll show that in a second here. I mean... I'll just show you a couple steel path kills. How about that? Um, trust me, it does kill the demolist in a couple bullets here. And yeah, All right, while we're loading in, I'm gonna show you real quick the um, the catch moon situation. All right, so we have a ribbon on here as well. This is a viral um, viral heat catch moon uh, setup with hemorrhage. We also have pack seeker. It's kind of hard to tell if pack seeker actually does proc the slash from this or not, but it was procking a good amount of slash. So you know, there's potential. As you can see right there, I'm um, a forced impact proc with the Catch Moon secondary. And that's a relatively... That is really, really good, actually, for the Catch Moon secondary. Since this has no headshot multiplier. And it is a slash blaster now. So very awesome stuff there, honestly. Um, we never had hat, uh, Hunter Munitions for the Catch Moon secondary. So that is something you can definitely rock right there if you want to. And I believe with this low of fire rate, it actually will get the double chance as well. So very, very nice. Um... Because, like, if, if you're running a high fire rate weapon, like, yeah, this one actually... Yep, 1.17 with this build. We took off, um, whatever it's called, a lethal torrent. I don't... I, as far as my initial testing goes, I don't think that the increased fire rate stuff is actually going to dictate if you get that double chance or not. But I do want to say that, um, the base fire rate of the weapon definitely does apply to it, so... Yeah, if you guys have thought of anything that is not, like, these weapons and is really good for these uh, mod combinations, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, it it is good, confirmed. So hopefully you found this helpful. Um, I'd say don't go for like plus impact. And also we could have an entire different conversation about how Band-Aid this mod really is. But let's just like, you know, let's be happy with what we got right now. There's finally an update to the game. So um, yeah, and if you do want to get this, like I said, it comes from those Corpus um, secondary objectives on the Railjack missions. And, you know, hopefully you get lucky. I, I actually ended up getting five of the primary one before I got a single of the secondary one. So I ended up just trading for the secondary one. Uh, but they do drop, I, apparently. Uh, apparently they do drop. Uh, so you have to hopefully get lucky on that one. Um, and, yeah, there's a demo list coming over here. We're, I'll show you how it goes, and we'll end the video. How about that, guys? Uh, hopefully you found this video helpful, like I said. And I, it's a lot of procs. It's a lot of slash procs. Uh, and the, the slash procs aren't even usually that good against the Corpus. They're a lot better against Grenier. Uh, and they're, they're still doing great, so there you go. Here, There he is. Now, those red crits, I believe, are from Arcane Avenger and all of the um, the Vigilante mods, as I do have a critical chance ribbon on my checker, making it 200%, and then the um, Avenger makes it like 250%-ish, and yeah, it's real good. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you found this helpful, and go ahead and uh, cause some slash rocks to the impact. Peace.